Holy Toledo, strap on your hat, etc. Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Sam Smith again. Well, as you can see, we're in Wellington. I've got test match fever. It's not one of those days that they would claim to be a good day, I don't think, though. I'm surrounded by many others who have caught the fever. Is this, uh, is this private party or? Mate, uh, what's going on here? You got the test match fever or? Now we're doing our best, eh? You got the test match fever? Well, we're getting there. If we're all elderly, mate, we've all got fevers. <laughs> we've found the Wallabies contingent. <laughs> Fever all day, mate. Go the All Blacks rugby's home. Here we are. All Blacks, right? All Blacks. Hundred percent. Did you get down here yesterday? Or? We missed our flight to start with. Had to get another one. Massive night last night. How do you think the Wallabies will go against the mighty All Blacks? I mean, I think they, could, they might struggle. Just, oh, it's no, just no. the one of you, just is it? The, yeah, it is. Just the one of me. This is Wallabies and All Blacks, is it? Yeah. You're just representing the head-to-head. Right here, aren't you? Yeah. Test match fever! Test match fever! Right on, boys. <laughs> Enjoy yeah, the we victory. Will. We will. Go to the All Blacks! You got the test match fever or what? <sighs> Who hasn't? I've got a lot of fever. I give him a fever. <laughs> Elvis, bro. Strong. Because there's nothing like being there together with the team of 5 million supporting the best team in the world. I'm going to tell you one thing about today's game. There's a chance Australia's actually going to put up quite a good fight today. We've gone through COVID, there's been a lot of bullshit, there's been a lot of naysaying, and there's been a lot of bullshit between the administration. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the Wallabies and the All Blacks. I think, think Australia are actually going to play a territory game. Putting on the line what matters most, and that's history. You know, they're going to rely on their defence to try and uh, keep close today. I, I'm a Dave Rennie fan, actually. I like oh, Dave Rennie, he's, he's a good, good man, guy. So just be a little bit cautious, but. Are the All Blacks. This is the, this is the first sign we've seen. Of course, this yeah, is a good yeah. sign of for things to come. Definitely, yeah, it's gonna be a good game. Yeah, good luck, to Faki. Yeah. Yo, obviously, Taniala fans. Oh. Yeah. Yes, he's our cousin. He's pretty good at rugby. Yeah. Have you seen him play rugby before? Of course yeah. we have. I watched the last two nights, previous mm. games. Mm. And uh, I'm predicting that it, it'll be pretty close. It's either going to be one or two things. Pretty close, or we're going to absolutely thrash them. I uh, notice you may have a dose of test match fever. I don't think I do. <laughs> I've had it for a few days, mate. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for it, man. Yeah, yeah. But surely if Bodie's oh, out, Geordie's in at 15. Well, put you know. Caleb Clark on, mate. I do, I do like the idea of having a bit of size at the back. Hey, well, when they yeah. named their original team and they had. Um, Bodie at fullback. I really thought he could have actually started at first five. What do you reckon, George? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Predictions on the score today? Oh, you know, I mean, I'm forever hopeful, but uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> let's just leave it at that. Largely full. Probably only a uh, few seats to fill now, really. Should we stand up for the Australian one, though? There's a couple of voices out there. Plenty of respect for the Wallabies here. The Aussie lady has to stay on the stand next and sit through the English one. I think it's probably time for a haka now. How will the Wallabies Very respond well, to this I don't haka? Think. <laughs> Come up there. Strong. How did you feel about that Huckabo? Bro, inspirational way. Not even kidding, like pretty classic come up here. Classic! Classic! Oh, oh. Yeah. Classic, classic New Zealand hucker, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Rick, he looked a bit like he might have bounced that one. They're gonna go after it, have to go upstairs. Well, Yes. No try, boys. Bro, what happened there? Don't, don't you just fall on the ground? Oh, that hurts. Die, die. Put pressure on the ball. Is that an all right first half? Yeah, OK. But, Bit uh, lackluster. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't think anybody from Wellington would have dropped that ball on the line last Very good, up. very good. Yeah, they say they come on well, and they say they're playing a lot better than I thought they'd play. But it, Controlled it, most of the position. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. They say a few silly mistakes. They say with two hands. You've got to put it down with two hands, haven't you? You know, it's a basic Mate. thing, isn't it? You know? 
Nagy! Yahoo! Cody Beating started down. We've got a ball game now and a bit of excitement too. Carl's design, boys, and we love it. Love myself a bit of Carl's, don't I? And on he comes, boy. A little bit bleak in this particular exit. Yeah. What's happening? Well, we're here for the test match. Oh, yeah, same. I, earlier, I had test match fever. I'm not sure I do anymore. Oh, look, you've got to keep the faith, right? The boys are doing really well. We've got the young uh, Caleb Clark on. Oh, he's just come on. Yeah, he's oh. on now. It looks like a bloody boil over about to happen here. Well, I think so. Mm. Oh, I'm really good, actually. I think this is great. This is just what we need. High intensity test match fever, right? Huh? Jordy's done it. Now looking like it's going to be a draw again. Final herd of us. Can't wall a beast. Holy to leader. Strap on your hat, etc. Lovely conditions to finish this one up. They've got to go 80 now. It's a relieving penalty, but long way to go. Check it out. <laughs> one of the finest draws you'll ever see. No, it was, uh, well, yeah, not, not well, so kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> bad. It's a wind sock. How was that in the end? Ah, uh, gutting, gutting. You're Good last eight minutes after the hooter. Oh. Well, a little bit. Good game of rugby. Hard on the hunt. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and rest speckles. Oh, well. How was it possible you just drew with the Wallabies? Dave Rennie's a great coach, mate. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can, I, we can take pride in Dave Rennie's performance tonight. Absolutely. Thank you. Especially from Wellington. Mate. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have thought it's possible we could lose to the Wallabies, I guess. Oh, no way. Unbelievable. Even, Dave even draw Dave, against... Dave Rennie, though. Yeah, okay. He's a man. Yeah. A draw with that Wallaby team. That was a great game. <laughs> Dave Rennie's pretty good, is he? He is, mate. He is the new master coach. That was our game. We missed by that much. Uh, how, do you, how do we get a 16-0 draw after eight minutes after the Kahuta and against the Wallabies? And a try just before half-time. There should have been a try for all money. Drop ball Change the game. Oh, yeah. And it starts to rain now and make it worse for us to walk out. Yeah. A little disappointed with that one or what? Well, it's like a loss, especially those it Aussies. Very much, yeah. You wouldn't expect to even draw against that Wallaby side, would you? I know. I feel, actually feel like we're vomiting. You must be very proud of Dave Rennie. Uh, very, uh, yeah, well, very proud of Dave Rennie. I mean, it's great to have a uh, bit of control over back. Wonderful, isn't it? Hey, he, he, a draw is as good as a win for a Wallaby, isn't it? Exactly right. Yeah. It is this week, especially at hometowns here. You got a not only you're in the hometown of New Zealand, but you're also got a Kiwi ref. So we're up and about this oh, one. This is as good as a win, mate. Yeah, easy, mate. <laughs> Enjoy the celebrations. We will, mate. Cheers. <laughs>